guys, I have to record this video because this is amazing. Let me tell you this story and I'll flip the camera around and show you the B of M in front of, but I was going to B of A to deposit my bags of half dollars and I'm in line and in front of me, a lady is carrying a B of A tray, a B of A tray. And I'm looking at the tray and she's got dollar coins, half dollars, quarters, dimes, and she's sitting in pennies. And I noticed I see silver edges everywhere. And so I just happened to ask her, I'm like, what are you doing with that tray? She goes, oh, they don't take uh, coins loose anymore. I had to put them in this tray, so I had to get back in line. I'm gonna deposit them. And I said, why, why are you depositing those coins? And she said, my grandfather's coins left me a box of coins. I just uh, wanted to get rid of them. And I'm like, do you mind? I'm a coin collector. Do you mind if I buy them from you? She goes, sure. So we pulled off to the side. I bought everything at face value because she was going to deposit it into the bank anyway. So I bought quarters for 25 cents. I bought half dollars for 50 cents. And I bought dollar coins for a dollar. Let me flip the camera around and show you what I got. So literally, I'm still in front of the B of A. I just deposited my bags of coins. And look at this. So as I'm buying the coins, there's clad ones in here too, I didn't care. I was, I was like, I'll buy all the dollar coins, I'll buy all the quarters, bought the halves, and then she goes, do you collect foreign coins? And I go, why? She goes, well, Bank of America won't take my foreign coins. So I just said, I'll buy them. I haven't even looked through any of this stuff yet other than grabbing it in my hand, throw it in my pocket and pulling it back out. I figured we'd look together. This is ridiculous. There's a peace dollar right there too. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the foreign. It looks like we might have a lot of just modern foreign here. Maybe a silver in here somewhere. I'll check it in a minute. Oh my goodness, look at this peace dollar. A 1922 peace dollar. Beautiful. We've got an Ike. It's clad, 1971. We, I see another peace dollar right there. A 1971 clad. A second piece dollar, 1922. We'll get to the quarters here in a second. A 1972 Ike that's also clad. Another piece dollar. Holy cow, we got Morgan dollars. A 1922 piece dollar. An 1898, beautiful Morgan dollar. It's got some odd toning to it. I'll have to wait when I get home, but that is beautiful. A 1921 Morgan dollar. Is there a mint mark? I don't think there's a mint mark on it, but that is another Morgan dollar. A 1971 clad Ike. So we've got four clad Ikes, three piece dollars, two Morgan dollars. We've got a walking Liberty half dollar. I did see this one, that's why I bought it, 1937. Philadelphia and let's take a look at these quarters a 36 Denver a 65 whoops a 1932 
a 1932S. Why is that ringing a bell? 32S. I can't remember if this is a if it's a 32D or a 32S. That's a key date. I'll have to look that up here in a second. The 1932S quarter is the key date quarter. Only 408,000 minted from San Francisco. <laughs> Unbelievable. A 1934. That's worn pretty good. A lot of early ones. A standing liberty. 1925, I believe. Sorry for the shaky camera. A 1934, Philadelphia. A 1937, Philly. A 1936, Philly. We got a bicentennial. Denver, I'll have to check that for the DDO. And a 1940 Philadelphia. And then like I said, we do have some Canadians here. And we got an older dime. No, 74, so it's not silver. I don't know if we have any silver in the uh, in the foreign. What's the what's this one right here? One shilling, 1963. I'm not familiar with. So, wow. So twelve dollars and some foreign. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I'm just, it's sometimes it's just your lucky day. I literally was just depositing my coins and we, <laughs> we scored this. I mean, I tried to tell her that I'm a coin collector and some of these coins, they're worth a little bit more than what she's gonna cash them in at. That was the first thing I was trying to tell her. And she was like, it doesn't matter. I just wanna get them in the bank. And I was like, well, I'm a coin collector. I'd rather buy them from you if you prefer to sell them to me. I'll just buy them. That way at least they go to my collection. And she says, no problem, no problem. She had a bunch of pennies and I just wasn't gonna sit there and go through all of them, so I let him. I let her deposit them, and now I'm sitting here kicking myself because I literally saw the Ike dollars, and I thought they were a stack of Ikes, and when I saw the side, I saw clad and silver, so I thought I was gonna score honestly some silver Ikes, and I saw the quarters, and I knew they were, a lot of them were silver, and I saw the half dollars, so I knew I was getting silver, but I also thought I was just gonna be getting some Ike dollars at best. Unbelievable. We literally paid about $15 for change. What a lucky day. What a lucky day. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys. I know it's kind of an oddball clip, but, and sorry about my, my wipers still going, because literally, I was too excited to turn them off. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lucky score of mine. Get out to those banks, ask them what they got in their trays. You never know what you'll get. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. Figured we'd end this clip on a closer look at this 1932S quarter. You know, it's probably good condition on the front, on the obverse. You could see In God We Trust is worn away pretty well. It's got a good date, good liberty. It's got a pretty good gash from his forehead to his ear. And I don't know, that kind of looks like a metal detecting find, like as if somebody had dinged it with a shovel. Or just could be circulation damage. But with 408,000 minted, you would think this didn't spend a lot of time in circulation. And the back looks really good. Honestly, the back is more like F12. It's not quite fine 12 because you can't see the feathers on the breast of the eagle. And that's what you kind of want to find in F12. But it's just about there. The back's probably very good eight all day, maybe F12, and the front is probably good. Could be stretching it to a VG8, but I doubt it. To any extent, at the end of the day, 1932 Denver and 1932 San Francisco, the two key dates of the George Washington silver quarters, and even in a VG8, 
it's still a hundred dollar coin that I paid a quarter for. Plus, didn't have it in my collection, that's for sure. Just wanted to give you one last close look at this beauty.